Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build a custom gaming computer. Um, I'll have the parts that I bought in the description link below. Uh, if you want to use the same parts that I use, um, you can go ahead and click on the link. It will direct you to Amazon or maybe eBay and get the parts. Um, stay tuned and I'll walk you through the process. First to begin, um, I usually like to pre-build my component before I install them and I'll be doing the motherboard, I'll be pre-building the, uh, the CPU, the RAM, um, the hard drive, just to make things easier in a bit. And this motherboard here is an MSI X370. Is the motherboard so I'll be installing an AMD processor need to open up the bracket first so there's an arrow here and it's going to be pointing downwards towards this side once the CPU sit on top of the bracket go ahead and close it and that's pretty much it the next thing I'll do is to install the RAM. This is a DDR4. I have a 32 gigs RAM. So I'll be installing the first two RAM by putting on the the first slot and the third slot. And if you can see, it says DIMM, there's an A2 and B2 and it says first. And DIMMA, this one and one, there would be the fourth and the second slot. So the first slot is to install on the first and the third slot. Okay, the next step I'll be doing is installing a solid state M2 drive. And you're gonna need um, a screw to tighten up and hold the hard drive in place. And there goes the, uh, the, the solid state drive here. Okay, so a quick review. So far, we have installed the heatsink, uh, sorry, the CPU, the RAM, and the solid state drive. And the next thing you can do is to put the thermal paste on it, and I'll be installing um, CPU heatsink. So, pretty much, I like to get my things set up uh, first before I put them onto my a computer case. So 
that's about this much is enough and I like to spread them all around the corner you don't have to do it a lot because once you press it down the thermal paste would kind of like go all around the CPU okay so the next step I'll be doing is installing the heatsink and I'll show you that process so the CPU fan that I have um, is Noctoa NH D15 and um, the CPU I have is AMD processor so we shall be using the um, AMD mounting bracket okay so first thing is just to set up the uh, CPU fan first before I install it onto the motherboard the packaging is really good um, to a point I'm having difficulty to get the CPU out okay here comes the CPU it comes with the additional fan um, so there'll be one intake and one exhaust fan is huge and these are the accessory tools that you need um, to mount the bracket onto the motherboard so I'll show you that step in a moment so before installing the heatsink you need to remove the original bracket uh, the mounting bracket that comes with the motherboard we are not going to use that one we are going to use the one that comes with Noctua um, the heatsink mounting bracket so go ahead and remove the two original bracket you can put them aside for this one here we're going to install some sort of like a plastic washer Okay, once you have the mounting bracket installed correctly you want to remove the fan first so that you can get into this screw here at the bottom so make sure that you have aligned them properly once you have that sit onto it go ahead and screw it tight you need to put a bit of a pressure while you're doing that because it has a spring on it 
All right, so once you have the CPU heatsink installed, uh, the next step I did is to install the fan. These are the clip-on fan. Um, I just wanted to show you that. When you see a label in the back, that means the air is going out that direction. So the air will be blowing this direction here. Um, if you see there's no label in the front, this is the intake and the back is the exhaust. So the whole concept of this um, two, two um, fan on a heat sink is to have a better cooling system. So you'll be pulling in cold air exhaust here and the second fan is does the same thing. So it's going to shoot out the hard, hard air towards the end of the, uh, the motherboard. And with the case, there'll be additional fans. So you have three fans pulling in the cold air, exhaust, the hot air. So the next thing I'll do is to show you that process by installing the pre-built that I have here into the uh, custom case.
So I just wanted to show you the final product, the custom build. I have one 40 millimeter fan. In the front here is the intake, and I have the 120 millimeter fan, and that is the exhaust. Also, I have this button here. We adjust the fan speed, the color, mode. You can change the different settings, different mode. That's a Noctua fan. This is a 1080 Ti graphics card. It's a hybrid version. It comes with the uh, water cooling in the back. Alright, I hope you like the build. If you like the video, you can subscribe. And I look forward to do more videos for you guys. Thanks for watching.